Hello everyone, my name is Eden, this is Tallulah, and today we're going to be talking about how to tell the sex of your pigeon. This isn't as easy as it is with some other species of birds because pigeons are not sexually dysmorphic, which means that there's no clear physical differences between males and females. If you look at these eclectus parrots, you can clearly tell male from female, as the male is green with an orange beak and the female is red and purple, while male and female pigeons look identical, and any variations in shape and color are irrelevant to the sex. So how can you tell a male from a female? Before we get into that, I'd like to say a quick thank you to those who have liked and subscribed. It's super encouraging. First, we'll discuss appearance. It's commonly thought there are some slight visual differences between male and female pigeons, specifically that males have a rounder head and more oval-shaped eyes, and females have a flatter head and more round eyes. Well, I'm sure there's some people out there who've been keeping pigeons for a super long time and are relatively consistent in being able to identify males and females through looking at them visually, Generally speaking, it's really unreliable. And if you're newer to pigeons, the only reason you'd really want to try and tell a male from a female pigeon just by looking at them would be for fun. As an example of it not being overly reliable, I've known people who've went to breeders or experienced pigeon people and had them uh, identify visually if it's male or female, take it home, only to later find out that it's not the sex that they thought it was. Additionally, trying to use head shape and eye shape to see if a pigeon's a female or male doesn't really take into account that there are multiple different breeds of pigeons all of which have drastically different shaped heads and eyes and faces and everything just based off the breed. Another appearance-based way of telling if a pigeon's male or female is by feeling the pelvis. This is something that is not really going to be relevant to anyone who's just a casual bird person. Uh, it's not like you're going to have the experience to tell if this is wider or narrower than an average pigeon. Um, and even then, I've once again known people who've had their pigeons felt by vets been told it was one or the other and then later found out it was not correct. So uh, most people won't have the skills to even try and tell based off the pelvis shape if it's a male or female and even when that is happening sometimes it's not correct either. Behavior is another way people commonly try and sex pigeons. In this school of thought males are more vocal, they're more aggressive, they when courting will bow, coo, they'll strut, they'll puff up their chest, make a more distinct cooing sound, and when mating they're on top. Whereas females are thought of as calm, gentle, quiet, um, not going to be doing the courtship dance, instead they'll be on the receptive side doing a dramatic run away, come chase me, or they'll be pancaking, which is when they lay down, put themselves flat so that the male can climb on top of them. The problem with this way of sexing pigeons is that it's not reliable either. It is very common for females to display male behavior and males to display female behavior. It's made even more reliable to sex based off of courtship behaviors as same-sex pairings is not uncommon with pigeons. And this can be the case even when there's a plethora of unmated single pigeons of the opposite sex that they could have chosen from. And when there's a same-sex pair... You done? And Tallulah has decided that she does not want to be part of the rest of this video. So I apologize for the lack of pigeon, but the lady gets what she wants. When there's a same-sex couple, it's very common for one of the two to take on the characteristics and courtship behaviors of the opposite sex. So for example, if there's two females, one of them's gonna be coo bowing. Additionally, if there's a same-sex pair, they will mate and it will look the same as with a heterosexual pair. And to make it even more complicated, in same-sex pairs, sometimes they'll just switch roles and the female will take a turn being on top. And aside from courtship, there are males who are quiet and gentle, and there are female pigeons that are loud and aggressive. So overall, behavior is not a very reliable way to tell the sex of a pigeon. So what are the reliable ways? If a pigeon lays an egg and you are 100% sure which one laid the egg, then you know, guarantee that that one's a female. This works quite well as a way to tell because females, whether in a mated pair or single, will often lay eggs on a regular basis. But the lack of eggs does not mean male, as some females just don't lay eggs. Aside from laying eggs, the only way to know with certainty the sex of a pigeon is with DNA testing. It may seem a bit excessive to get a DNA test for your pigeon, but it's quite common in the avian world because lots of birds are not sexually dysmorphic. For most people, this should be fairly easy to find a company that offers this service. It's also usually quite affordable and very simple. All it entails is sending them a sample of blood or fresh feathers as instructed by the kit. And typically, it usually costs around 20 bucks. I DNA tested Tallulah. This is her certificate. She is female, making her a really good example of a female pigeon that does not lay. I've had her for two years and she's never laid an egg. I've put a link in the description below to the company I use to DNA sex Tallulah. Um, I'm, not, I'm in no way affiliated with them, but if it's helpful, it will be there. I hope you found this video helpful. If there's any other topics you'd like me to discuss in future videos, leave us in the comments below. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.